Hello, my awesome and amazing Leos. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Oh, aren't you guys lucky? I got sirens going off in the background. Leo, what's going on? Mm, something maybe trying to come to the surface. Oh boy. <laughs> general collective reading. Full moon in the sign of Capricorn. What is it bringing to the surface and what does it mean for you, right? This full moon energy uh, had started to kick in on July 2nd. Today is July 5th. And so the full moon, traditionally, um, the energy of it lasts about three days. So we're going to see what this uh, full moon in Capricorn is bringing in your direction, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers and so it is of course our astrological card of leo full moon in capricorn the statement is end the end of a tough cycle approaches could be an ending to a relationship that's going on that maybe needs to come to a close out or if somebody that you know of is dealing with a third party that could be coming to a close out of a cycle as well okay so <clears throat> We have kind of like a 12-12 type of energy going on. Eight and four is 12. So you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius Leo that's born on December 12th. So something about 24 or maybe something about the next 24 hours. Something could come to the surface. You could be, <clears throat> you could have been born in the month of July and or possibly the month of August. I do have Leo and Virgo energy coming in through the power of number eight. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You might also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. Could be dealing straight up with the Pisces. Also picking up on Aries and Gemini energy again through the power of number one. However, Capricorn and Aquarius energy resides throughout the number one. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn born in the month of January. More strong, um, <clears throat> more strong Sagittarius energy coming in through the number 14, picking up on Aquarius and Pisces energy you could be dealing with that was born in the month of February. Picking up on Cancerian energy, you could be dealing with that astrological zodiac next door neighbor. Okay, so power of number 24. Let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. You might also be dealing with a fixed sign because I'm seeing the number 21, which is the world card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or a Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Trusted ancestors of my Leo viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Leo need to know about this full moon in Capricorn? Or what is the full moon in Capricorn bringing to Leo? Show me what's up. I've got energies I feel that's kind of going back and forth. There could be some lies that are going on behind the scenes because the Ace of Swords technically is coming up in the reverse of my hands. But because it is a full moon, something is going to get exposed or the truth is definitely going to come forward. could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, a Libra, or Gemini.
Mm-hmm. You may find out that somebody was giving time and energy to another person, place, or thing, or situation, or could be some shady dealings going on with some money, something about money behind the scenes. Somebody's going to get caught or maybe get exposed. Give me more information on the Ace of Swords, please. There could be some truth getting exposed over the next 11 days. Mm, four of Cups. Sense of rejection. You could end up rejecting somebody in the near future, Leo. There's a waiting energy or something's not good enough. Or somebody's truth is going to start to come forward. Hopefully, there's not going to be... Ugh, any argumentative energies because in truth, Leo, you've already gone through enough arguments before in the past with this specific person. You've gone through enough misunderstandings. <laughs> mm, Spirit saying of using wisdom and discernment. Mm, the star card. There could also be a celebrity spying in on you or somebody's trying to take advantage maybe of your good nature. Or right now, you need to just focus in on your career and, you know, keep focusing in on rising to the top. Or there will be wishes that will be fulfilled. If you're waiting for somebody to come forward with some kind of truth, eventually it is going to happen. I do have Aquarius energy coming in. Right now, you could just be trying to distract yourself with friends or family members um, from whatever, you know, this person that you're dealing with, okay? Um, or you're wishing and hoping and praying that maybe this person, <clears throat> you could be in a relationship situation right now that you just want to leave and you don't know how to tell that person that it's over, <laughs> flat out, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, difficult situation to be in. There's some form of a wish or being in the spotlight, Leo. Message from the star, the Hierophant. There's a little bit of a twist and a turn. Somebody here could be coming back to you to express some truth after they were giving time and energy and then say to you all of a sudden, I want to be with you, I want to marry you, etc. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Picking up on Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Why does this person want to be with Leo on a deeper level of commitment type of partnership? Because <laughs> whoever they were dealing with, got, they got rejected. Okay, Leo, proceed with caution. Proceed with caution. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This person could end up leaving you back all up in your head again, Leo. You don't need this anymore. You don't need this relationship. Is this person a habitual cheater, trusted ancestors? That Leo's dealing with, are they a cheater? Mm, the emperor, I'm looking for a yes or a no. Yes, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus more specifically. There's somebody better for you. Yeah, they could be spying in on you very heavily. Page of Swords could be a troublemaker. This person, Leo, they're going to leave you all up in your, in your head. This person comes in and out. 
this full moon may be trying to push you out of your comfort zone to make a solid decision about this person. Because they leave you in bewilderment, like not knowing what the hell to do, okay? Stop wasting your time. You know the truth with inside of you. Listen, do you know how intuitive Leos are? Very intuitive. You see things or you feel that gut pull before something happens, Leo, and I don't know what it is in, for some situations for you guys. It's like you want to see the best in this particular person, whoever this is, who comes in and out, or they project like they want to have this long-term commitment with you, etc. But the, the consistency, I'm not seeing consistency. There's somebody better who is going to be able to balance out a better connection for you. Leo, this person leaves you all up in your head. They could have left you crying at night. You know what I mean? Didn't want to hear or listen to your feelings or be emotional or be emotional, emotionally available. Or they didn't know how to take full responsibility for their emotions. Except if they walked away from you, it made them feel good to do that. And then again, when they, why do they want to come in and grant your wish? Well, they were rejected. They were rejected by someone else. So some major truth, proceed with caution. Proceed with caution before trying to balance out the situation with this person. Yeah, exactly. Just clarified the five of pentacles. What this person's dealing with because they're going to, why do they want to bring in wish fulfillment? Why do they want to be with you? Because they're getting rejected. Some of them could be going through a split, a separation, divorce in the next three days. Three days, three weeks. No, I would, no, justice will be served with a golden lasso of truth on a silver platter. Okay. Th just, no, this person I feel is not worth your time. Show me a better person through the emperor for Leo, my awesome Leos. Yeah. Slowly but surely it's headed in your direction. It's going to be a gradual thing because you need to, whoever this person is, Leo, you got to release them. And not only that, this person took their sweet ass time. Yeah, but they're still spying in on you. And or this could be you just, you know, making a choice or a decision maybe to put yourself on some kind of, you know, online dating platform. Okay. But there is somebody better that could know you and is already, you know, trying to seek you out. Mm-hmm. Just put your nose to the grindstone. This person is a little bit, this newer person is a little bit more balanced. It's going to take some time because your emotions have been so caught up in this other person that's been in and out, ghosted you, rejected you, slighted you, and you were top notch and they didn't want it. Oh, but now that now they're being rejected. Oh, I guess I'll go back to so-and-so. I'll go back to my Leo. I hope my Leo takes me back. Don't take him back. Do yourself a favor. It's time to be bold. It's time to be brave and not deal with the in and out, the inconsistencies. It's just a waste of your time, Leo. There are, there are bigger fish to fry, okay? My awesome and amazing Leos, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.